Okay, so we are going to be starting our T-bowls today and then you'll work on them next week and into the week after. We will throw one on the wheel. I will do about eight students a week. So with your class, that'll take us about three weeks, maybe a little more. Um, and then at least two handbells that we're gonna keep, okay? Your requirements on these new signs that I got are, it holds, it should say six to eight ounces. Your pinky is about a quarter inch thick, so the walls or sides should be a quarter inch thick. It needs a nice round base to your table. Okay, so we don't want a flat base like this one. We want a nice round base. We're also going to cut a foot into it, like this one. The rim needs to be smooth and not too thick because you're gonna drink out of it. Wabi Sabi aesthetic, that means we don't draw animals or faces or words. It's all texture and design, carved designs. Um, and nice and smooth in areas so we don't cut ourselves on it. On the back is our pinch pot. So every table starts with a pinch pot. So that's why you guys did the boot camp of the pinch pot. So it's good to try to hit for a three or four so that you um, won't have a really heavy, awkward pinch pot in the one or two here. So you can reference that to help you when you guys start to make them. The other thing on your table, um, these are really good reference, but you don't have to make them like this. Our goal is to make a kind of a cup form rather than a bowl. Um, so you're welcome to look at these for resources, but you're not required to make these forms. On the last page is the um, ideas for the foot. The foot will come later. Okay, this is review for some of you. Please don't get your clay out yet. Just watch me first, and then you guys can do this on your own. Most of the clay chunks are about a pound. Don't cut them in half. Watch me first, okay? So we have to wedge the clay. So to wedge the clay, just watch, you kind of pound it a little to soften it. You don't have to use the slab mat, it just moves all over, but if it's sticking to the table, you can use it. And then this is the wedging motion. Your hands are on this side, and it's a quick little bend of the wrist and shove. This gets the air bubbles out and softens the clay. So what we're going for is a ram's head, okay? Quick little shove, ram's head, okay? You're gonna do that about four or five times, then cup your hand and cup the other hand. Keep it in your hands, don't set it on the table because we don't want a flat bottom. <laughs> no, okay. So you're gonna squeeze and keep your hand cupped and hit it and turn it. A good pinch pot starts with a good ball. Okay, now, if you have long nails, you can ask a friend or have someone help you with this part. We're gonna put our thumb in, like you're putting your thumb into a bowling ball. So about three quarters of the way down. Okay, now, when we pinch it, we don't want it to go out like a bowl. So you wanna keep your hands flat like this, not like you're pinching, flat. And then you want it to keep them tilted in. If your hands are tilted out, it'll go way out like a bowl. So the motion is in your hands, not on the table. Pinch, turn, pinch, turn. The finger marks are good. That's that wabi-sabi aesthetic. So what we're going for is the thickness of your pinky. If it starts to crack, your clay's losing a little bit of its plasticity, then just smooth it with your finger or leave the cracks. It's okay, that's the wabi-sabi. Once you get the good basic form, Pinch your rim a little thinner, maybe a little thinner than your pinky because imagine putting your mouth over a rim that thick. The liquid would dribble down your chin. Once you've got this basic pinch pot form, the base can be a little thick. It's meant to be round. Don't tap it on the table today. You're going to put your name and class shape on it. Don't use these loop tools. You'll use your needle tool. So your class shape is the square. And then you're going to put it by one of the sets of fans. The fans are on the counter. There's some over by the cookie cutter over there. Upside down the by the fan until it gets leather hard. And then we'll do the second section in a second, which, um, not a second, in a few minutes, when it is leather hard, and that is carving.